Hello and welcome to Tipsy Gaming. Today we're getting in on the ground flora of the Queen's Conservatory, which is a unique feature for players who have rooted themselves within the Night Fae Covenant. <laughs> Let us begin. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't lettuce. This is basil. A basil gimlet to be specific, and I'll show you how to make it later on. But first, I'm going to address the fact that I've seen many people complain about the function and rewards of the Queen's Conservatory. Yes, you do have to wait a long time for not a whole lot in return, especially at the beginning tier, but it's incredibly hands off. It's simply set it and forget it. It is the slow cooker of World of Warcraft. And what's more, you don't even have to do it. The rewards you'll receive range from basic Shadowlands crafting materials to cosmetic items and even pets and mounts. But if that doesn't appeal to you, just spend your anima elsewhere. Blizzard made sure that there are plenty of things for you to spend your anima on. If you do choose to check out the Queen's Conservatory, the premise is that you are nurturing spirits until they are ready to return to the cycle, at which time they offer you a cache containing your rewards. This video will focus on the first two of five tiers. The Conservatory is unlocked and improved by talking to Zehad the Builder and spending the required currencies. Tier 1 takes 1,500 anima, 6 redeemed souls, and 1 hour of time. Tier 2 needs 5,000 anima, 12 redeemed souls, and 12 hours of time. Once unlocked, there is a short quest chain and then you can access the area from a mushroom ring on the lowest level of Heart of the Forest. Much like the garrisons in Warlords of Draenor, this zone is unique to you. It even has fishing pools, where you can cast a line without worry of interference from other players or enemy mobs. Inside your conservatory, we'll begin with two wild seeds of regrowth. At the most basic level, you incubate a spirit into the wild seed, wait the appropriate amount of time, usually three days at tier one, and receive your harvest. You can check the status of your wild seeds at any time by opening your sanctum report and mousing over the queen's conservatory icon. The different spirits represent the different zones and factions within Shadowlands. Within each of those groups, there are also uncommon, rare, and epic spirits. There is also the occasional legendary one as well. Once you upgrade the conservatory to tier 2, the plot thickens. <laughs> now you have access to three total wild seeds, as well as four catalyst plots. You'll have an introductory quest chain. But in essence, catalysts improve wild seeds in some way. The uncommon catalysts are called temporal leaves and they reduce the time of the regrowth process by one day. The rare level catalyst is called wild night bloom and it increases the yield of crafting materials by 100%. Lastly, the epic level catalyst is called wild root grain and it will increase the quality of the rewards. There's an excellent chart on Wowhead of which catalysts are needed to produce specific results, and I'll link to that in the description below. But now I need another cocktail, so I'm going to show you how to make it, and when we're done there, we'll go over perhaps the most important thing to know about the Queen's Conservatory. Here we are, prepped and ready. Due to the nature of this video being all about growing your own grove, I wanted something herbaceous to fit the theme, and a basil gimlet did just that. For this cocktail, you start by muddling about four basil leaves. Think of these like the spirits in the wild seeds. You want to gently nurture them, not smash them up, which would leave both the basil and the spirits bitter. Next, we add a different kind of spirit, gin. One and a half ounces into the shaker, along with three quarters ounce of lime juice, and half an ounce of simple syrup. Fill with ice. Shake vigorously and strain into a chilled glass. Top it all off with another basil leaf. Now it's time to continue. If you take nothing else away from this video and are still figuring out how to grow your grove, then this is the critical bit of information. You must infuse the catalyst before infusing the spirit. If you do it after, it won't take any effect. Also, you will notice that once infused, the catalyst remains for 12 hours. 
Most of the starting spirits take three days to incubate. You do not need to refresh the catalyst during this time. You might also want to plan out the catalyst placement since they are linked to specific wild seeds and are sometimes shared. Here are the wild seeds and connecting catalysts you will have access to at the second tier. As you can see, you have one plot where a single catalyst connects to two seeds. So whatever you infuse there will affect them both. And it might be worth timing so that you're infusing both seeds within that 12 hour duration. However, with the amount of catalysts you get from just doing normal activities, I don't really see there being much of any shortage of catalysts at this level. You get them from daily and weekly quests associated with the conservatory, from calling quests that reward a tribute of the wild hunt, from treasure chests around Arden Wheel. Basically, if you trip over a root, you're gonna get a catalyst. As for spirits, they do pop up on your command table occasionally. You get random ones from Venari for completing her weekly quests in the Maw, and you can select a specific one from a weekly quest inside the conservatory. This last option is especially important in Tier 2 because by now you should have unlocked another NPC which will give you another weekly quest to plant a specific spirit and will reward you with catalysts. <laughs> you can select three of the uncommon one, two of the rare ones, or one epic. Personally, I go for the epic one because I feel it's the hardest one to obtain in larger quantities and it's also the one that's needed to get the mount rewards. If, however, you do find yourself running low on catalysts, you can talk to the seed merchant to purchase seeds you can plant instead of spirits and grow more catalysts. It's not surprisingly very cycle of life. <laughs> that about wraps it up for part one of the Queen's Conservatory Guide. If you liked it and want more videos about it discussing the higher tiers, let me know in the comments below or over on Twitch where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I hope this helps you navigate your grove. Until next time, this has been Tipsy Gaming. I'm Tipsy. Please remember to drink and game responsibly.